In this video, we will be looking at the Python Assistant Geospatial features. Note that there is currently no geo-coordinate system or GCS attached to the DGN. So we are going to open the Macros dialog under the Utilities tab. Now open the Python Editor dropdown and select Create Python Project. We will enter a title and click Save. We are going to ask the Python Assistant to add a specific GCS for us. Once we sent the message, we will wait for the assistant to create the script for us. Once the script is created, we can copy and paste it into the editor. We can see that this is the code to attach the 6439 GCS. Select Run Python File. You can now see that the specified coordinate system is attached to the model. We are now going to remove the coordinate system we just attached and alter the code to attach a new GCS. In the Python code editor, we are going to switch it from 6439 to 6438 and execute the code again and we will see the new system attached. Close the editor window. Switch to the Geospatial Context workflow. Note that when we select the Edit tool in Feature Services, there is no connection available. To change this, we are going to create another new Python project. We will once again enter a title and click Save. In the Python editor, we will open the dropdown for examples, microstation, and geospatial context. There are 20 sample scripts you can use here. We will select geospatial context connection. Copy the code and go to the project we just created. Paste the code here. This code creates two connections. But since we only need one, we will delete the second section of code. Once that is finished, we are going to replace the default URL address with one of our own. Execute the Python file. Now when we go back to the edit tool in feature services, we will see a connection with the server and all the potential features we can attach. Switch to a top view and click query features. Note that both fence and named boundary are deactivated. To create a boundary, we will once again create a new Python project. Enter a title and click Save. In the editor, we are going to ask the assistant to create a boundary for us with the name we want to assign and covering the extension of the active file. Once the code is copied, copy and paste it into the editor and click Run. As you can see, the boundary has successfully been created. Close the editor window. 
Navigate back to the Query Features dialog. Select the new named boundary as the spatial area. Then select the state route labels and trail labels, map to load and click Query. You will see the elements appear within the boundary. We will now switch off the name boundary. By clicking the features, we can see the properties of the trail labels map from the U.S. Department of Commerce. We can select different elements to view each one's properties. We can activate the Google Background Map to see how the GIS data is aligning with the map. Finally, we can rotate the view to see how the model and GIS data are related geospatially.